My name is Africa Malane, just in case you've just joined us. And Bruce Whitfield, of course, host of The Money Show, is today's Quizmaster. Hello, Bruce. Africa, we need to get into it because we've got contestants to get through and a time limit. So I'm sure you know the rules by now. 90 seconds, as many questions as you can answer out of 25. If you fail, our first contestant this morning, who is ideal, um, to answer, if you pass the, 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 the spelling question, I spell it to you slowly as punishment. As punishment. Well, a deal, of course, will take on Farah, Tamsin, Alison and Riaz, all of them, of course, each of the day's winners for this last week of the Discam Brain of Cape Talk. Uh, the winner of this round will get 10,000 rand and will play with us again just after 12 o'clock um, for the grand prize of 20,000 rand and, of course, the title of Discam Brain of Cape Talk. Adil Mohammed is Monday's brain, lives in Pinelands, um, market analyst at Old Mutual, convenient, given Why where he, he lives. Live? Why does he live in Pinelands? <laughs> Absolutely makes sense. So you walk to work? I don't. I work from home currently. So, oh, so you walk to work? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> uh, been listening to Cape Talk since he was a child, as his parents always had it on the car. In his spare time, he plays chess, attends a weekly pub quiz, plays hockey, and is an avid salsa dance enthusiast. So the I weekly... I, I don't believe him. <laughs> you, you, wanna, you want him to... We'll have a video afterwards that we get a share on social media, <laughs> without a doubt. I imagine then, deal that the weekly pub quiz is going to be very helpful today, is it? Hopefully so. I hope I don't let my team down. So <laughs> You're see. 90 yeah. seconds I'm about to start. Bruce is all yours. And uh, I tell you what, we're very grateful to two of our listeners who've contributed questions to this round. So if you don't do well, Adil, you can find Vanessa Charnley and Dion Clouty and ask them why they pose such difficult <laughs> questions. Duly noted. Mario, 90 seconds, please. Start now. Three, two, one. Adil, spell the word exercise. E-X-E-R-C-I-S-E. Correct. Complete the saying, you can't see the wood for the what? Boss. Trees. Con true or false, cardiac arrest is a medical condition that affects your heart. True. Correct. Which of the five vowels is not used in the word confidential? You. Correct. In business, the abbreviation MD stands for managing Director. what? Director. Correct. Complete the name of the Oscar-winning movie, My Octopus T What? Correct. In the early United Rugby Championship, is the club Munster from Ireland or Scotland? Scotland. Ireland. In which province is the Ismangaliso Wetland Park? KwaZulu-Natal. Correct. Does the Kosovo word Umakulu mean aunt grandmother. or grandmother? Grandmother. In politics, ACDP stands for African Christian What Democratic. Party? Correct. Are the green, white, and orange bands on Ireland's flag horizontal or vertical? Horizontal. They are vertical. Which town in is in KwaZulu Natal? Hanardendal or Glencoe? Glencoe. Correct. True or false in music? The symbols are in the percussion section of the orchestra. True. Correct. In which African country is the Copper Belt province? Zambia or Angola? Zambia. Correct. Which is an Indian bread? Roti or Roti. Roo? Correct. Which country has the soccer club Borussia Dortmund? Germany. Correct. Which word is a synonym of flabbergasted? Relieved or amazed? Amazed. Correct. True or false? The Latin expression cum laude means with honor. True. Correct. Which country is larger? Egypt or Morocco? Egypt. Egypt is correct, and I would give it to you, but I am not one of the mean, <laughs> judgmental, vicious judges. We'll find out in a moment whether the judges have given the answer that Adil managed to squeeze in at the last second to question 13, which country is larger, Egypt or Morocco? The answer was Egypt. Judges, are you giving it to Adil? Uh, they are working Ooh, that out, they're, they're and they are out. going they're, to be They're listening fun. to the tape. They are Because we've, we've got one of these things in our studio. It's a, called a reel-to-reel -reel tape. Um, it is from the archives, and they, they, they have to spool it backwards and forwards. They go... <laughs> <laughs> you show your age there, Bruce. You are showing I your I saw age. a movie about it once. <laughs> when I joined the Eyewitness News team, when Nelson Mandela was a younger man, um, we had to cut tape with a razor blade and splice it together blade. with tape. Oh, heavens. It took forever. The youth of today have, well, they do 12 times more than we used to, but still, the youth of today don't know what what they're expecting. They absolutely that was an don't. exceptional round, Adil. You did 19 questions. You're a quiz master's nightmare because you preempt the answers, <laughs> which is a good strategy. Um, and uh, you we did incredibly well. We are giving well. the answer uh, that he gave to uh, question 19. I would have given um, it, for the record, I would have given <laughs> thank it. Thank you, thank you. Bruce. And the judge 
judges agree. So now, having completed 19 questions, Bruce, One, how two, did a deal do? I don't have an official answer from the judges. So I do need an official answer from the judges. I have the answer, um, and it's a good number. Uh, I agree with the judges. Again, 16 out of 19 <laughs> possible. Um, well done to you, Adil. It's a, a very good score. Oops, sorry, everybody else. <laughs> it is a very good score indeed. 16 is a number to beat, of course, and that is going to be the challenge that Farah takes up. Uh, from Kenilworth, she was Tuesday's brain of the day. She's a project convener by profession, working on a research project focusing on human rights and economic justice. Um, she spends her spare time doing Eating and making cosmetic jewellery. Uh, and you are wearing some of your jewellery, clearly. Yes, I am. Uh, that really, really looks beautiful. Thank, Thank you very much. Uh, 16 is a score to beat. Uh, Farah, good luck. Thank you. Farah, are you ready? Yes. Excellent. <laughs> Mario, 90 seconds, please. Three, two, one. Farah, spell the word fortress. F-O-T-R-E-S-S. No, there's an extra R in there. Complete the saying, one man's meat is another man's what? Pass. Poison. True or false? Meningitis is a medical condition that affects your feet. False. Correct. Which of the five vowels is not used in the word fountain? E. Correct. In business, the abbreviation YTD stands for year to what? Pass. Date. Complete the name of the Oscar-nominated movie Manchester by the what? Pass. C. Uh, in the United Rugby Championship is the club Ospreys from Wales or Ireland? Wales. Correct. In which province is the Mapungubwe National Park? Northwest. Limpopo. Does the Kosa word umfazi mean man or woman? M man. Woman. In politics, IFP stands for Incarta What Party? Freedom. Correct. Are the green, white and red bands on Italy's flag horizontal or vertical? Horizontal. They are vertical. Which town is in Limpopo? Modimole or Matatiel? Modimole. Correct. True or false? In music, the triangle is a percussion section of the orchestra. True. Correct. In which country is Mombasa County? Kenya or Tanzania? Tanzania. It is Kenya. Which is the dairy product? Margarine or butter? Butter. Correct. Which word is a synonym of corroborate, contradict or confirm? Confirm. Correct. From which country is the soccer club? AC Milan. You would have said... Italy. That was such an easy one. <laughs> it was indeed. Unfortunately, you didn't get the easy one. I found... So, um, earlier, the meningitis, a medical condition that affects your feet, um, uh, you correctly said it was false because it affects... Your lungs? No. Glad we didn't give you a treat. Yeah. Um. <laughs> it's your brain. <laughs> your it's brain. a swelling of the brain stem. Thank it you. It looks like nothing else. And let it be known, it's confirmed the Discam brain of Cape Talk that margarine is not dairy. <laughs> Absolutely It not. is not butter. Not at all. Uh, 16 is the number of questions you managed to complete. 16 is the score that you needed to beat. And I am afraid you did get a few of those wrong. So, Bruce, how did Farah do? You got 50%. <laughs> Eight out in, of 16. I was about to say, in case you're working it out, the score <laughs> is eight. Farah, thank you very much for thank playing you. with thank us. You. Tamsin, it is then your challenge to try and top the score of 16. Lives in Goodwood, does uh, Tamsin, Wednesday's Brain of the Day. Lecturer at oh. Mill Park Education, where she does online distance learning. Uh, she enjoys doing outdoor activities with a seven-year-old, which basically is determined by the seven-year-old. Tamsin, 16 is the score to beat. I hope you're feeling good. Yeah, I'm feeling good, thank you. Well, All the best. In between the Lamar's breathing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> exactly, yes. you're breathing. <laughs> exactly. You see, you've had practice. Tamsin, can yes. we start? You may. Well, thank you. She's thank so polite. Uh, Mara, could we have 90 seconds? Three, two, one. One. Could we have a spelling of the word sabotage? S A B B O T A G E. No, incorrect. Complete the saying. He is the spitting what of his father? Image. Correct. True or false? Arthritis is a medical condition that affects your joints. True. Correct. Which of the five vowels is not used in the word tournament? Uh. I. Correct. In business, the abbreviation PA stands for personal what? Assistant. Correct. Complete the name of the Oscar-nominated movie Mad Max Fury what? Pass. Road. In the United Rugby Championship is the club Benetton from Italy or Wales? Wales. From Italy. Which province is the Mountain Zebra National Park in? 
Um, Gauteng. Eastern Cape. Which is the Zulu word in Dordana? Does it mean son or daughter? Son. Correct. In politics, FF plus stands for Freedom What Plus? Front. Correct. Are the black, yellow and red bands on Belgium's flag horizontal or vertical? Horizontal. They are vertical. Oh. Which town is in the Western Cape? Toes River or Vormeranstadt? Toes River. Correct. True or false? In music, the marimba is in the brass section of the orchestra. False. Correct. Which kind of African country is the Suez Governorate in? Is it Tunisia or Egypt? Egypt. Correct. Which is the dairy product? Yogurt or tofu? Yogurt. Correct. Which is the synonym of consternation? Dismay or content? Content. It would have been wrong anyway, oh. and it was outside of the limit. It is, in fact, dismay. <laughs> You're absolutely right that in uh, uh, music, the marimba is not in the brass oh. section. It is in the percussion section because you bash something with something else. Mm. Um, <laughs> and your definition of, course, of the percussion section. Yeah, hitting things very hard for music. <gasps> You got sabotaged. You got. You gave. One, you, it was you one extra many, B. You mm -hmm. did too many Bs. I know. You were sabotaged yourself. Yes. <laughs> uh, Mad Max Fury Road was partly yes. shot in Cape Town. Excellent movie, mm -hmm. and everyone so far has got the flag question wrong. <gasps> I know. But because you, you, you've got to work out the difference between vertical and horizontal yeah, first. You're going. <laughs> well, Bruce Tamsin managed to complete 15 questions. 16 is the score to beat. Obviously, she didn't get to it. How well did she do? She got 10, which is a very credible score. Mm. 10 is a very good score indeed. Thank you for playing with us, Tamsin. Alison is Thursday's brain. She lives in Pinelands, a chartered accountant by a profession. Yay! But also as a side hustle <laughs> as a cartoon. Yay! <laughs> Finally. <laughs> As a cartoon artist teacher where she hosts adult beginner classes, um, loves scuba diving and loves the outdoors and regularly goes on hikes. Alison, lovely to have you here. 16, of course, is the score to beat. Are you ready for your 90 seconds? As ready as I'll ever be. As ready as she'll ever be, Bruce Whitfield. And her surname is Beer. What is there not to like? Alison, <laughs> welcome. Nice to see you. Blink twice. She's, it was three times, but she, she's an overachiever, you see. Um, your 90 seconds. Start now. Three, two, one. Spell the word embarrass. E-M-B-A-R-R-A-S-S. -S. Correct. Complete the saying, I would love to be a fly on the what? Wall. Correct. True or false, hepatitis is a medical condition that affects your kidneys. False. Correct. Which of the five vowels is not used in the word compulsive? A. Correct. In business, the abbreviation C2, C, CTC stands for what to company? Cost. Correct. Complete the name of the Oscar-nominated movie The What of Wall Street. Wolf. Correct. In the United Rugby Championship is the club Ulster from Scotland or Ireland? Ireland. Correct. In which province is the Tankwa Karoo National Park? Western Cape. Northern Cape. Does the Zulu word Umalume mean uncle or uncle. aunt? Correct. The, the, in politics, UDM stands for United What? Democratic. Movement. Correct. Are the orange, white and green bands on India's flag horizontal or, or vertical? Horizontal. Correct. The town in Mpumalanga is at Khrut Mariko or Hraskop? Hraskop. Correct. True or false, the double bass is in the string section of the orchestra. True. Correct. In which African country is the Mara region? Algeria or Tanzania? Tanzania. Tanzania. Correct. Which one is a dessert? Creme brulee or focaccia? Creme brulee. Correct. Which word is synonym of intimidate? Menace or assure? Menace. Correct. From which country is the soccer club Ajax? Netherlands. Correct. True or false, the Latin expression carpe diem means seize, seize the day. Fish. Uh, was the question. Uh, seize the day is absolutely right. Carpe diem. Carp. Fish. Carpe diem seize the fish. That's the funniest question we've had so far, frankly. <laughs> but you're absolutely right. Seize the day. You were within the time limit and you got through 18 questions. Uh, he, she did, but the question to number eight and the answer given will have to give to the judges to I determine. Missed, I, messed up, I messed up the question, but I, uh, I managed to fudge it. Uh, and she got the fudge right. Okay. So it All is right. essentially the same thing. The judges say, 
I have to They're leave giving it. the studio now and throw myself <laughs> off the bill. No. Oh, that's a relief. They're giving it to you. Alison, we'll find out in a moment how well mm. you did. Out of interest, Umalume is also a word in Kosa for uncle. And of course, I'd know that. And you are the first contestant to get the um, vertical horizontal flag question correct. So well done for that. Um, managed to complete 18 questions, including your fudged question, Bruce Whitfield. How did Alison Can we do? just not talk about the fudge? Um, she got one wrong. Which means 18, 17, which means, oh, she's leading. She is 17. indeed. 17 is now the score Remarkable. for well Riaz to beat. Well done to you, Alison. Um, 90 seconds is all that determines who the uh, last semi finalist of our search for the Discam Brain of Cape Talk for 2022 is going to be. Riaz is from Plumstead, uh, works in the health industry, a proud dad of two kids aged 10 and 7. He loves sport and is a keen cyclist as well as squash player. Riaz, 17 is a score I know you can beat, or at the very least match, so that we can have another round of sudden death. How are you feeling? Uh, very nervous, but I'll give it a go. Excellent. Yay. Bruce, he's all yours. Absolutely brilliant, Riaz. Um, I see you breathing in, breathing out. Goose Fraba. 90 seconds, please, Mario. Now. Three, two, one. Spell the word pseudonym. P S E U D O N Y M. Correct. Complete the saying. It's not over till the fat who sings. Lady. Correct. True or false? Glaucoma is a medical condition that affects your eyes. True. Correct. Which of the five vowels is not used in the word signature? O. Oh. Correct. In business, the abbreviation HR stands for human what? Resources. Correct. Complete the name of the Oscar nominated movie. Silver Linings What? Playbook. Correct. In the United Rugby Championship is the club Dragons from Scotland or Wales? Scotland. From Wales. In which province is the Agullas National Park? Uh, Western Cape. Correct. In the Zulu, does Ubaba mean mother or father? Father. Correct. In politics, EFF stands for Economic What Fighters? Freedom. Correct. Are the red, white and blue bands on the flag of the Netherlands horizontal? Horizontal. Correct. Uh, which town is in the Eastern Cape? Hopefield or Himansdorp? Himansdorp. Correct. True or false, the saxophone is in the woodwind section of the orchestra? True. Correct. In which African country are the Kavango regions? Botswana or Namibia? Botswana. Namibia. Which is a seafood, truffles or sashimi? Sashimi. Correct. Which word is a synonym of fidelity, loyalty, loyalty. or treachery? Correct. From which country is the soccer club Juventus? Italy. Correct. True or false, the Latin expression cogito ergo sum means I think, therefore I am. True. Correct. Which country is larger, Gabon or Cameroon? Cameroon. Correct. How many ovals are there in a Toyota logo? Three. That would have been correct, but I'm not going to give it to you because it's out of time. It is, uh, meaning that you've completed 19 questions. Um, and before I waste any more time, Bruce Whitfield, let's find out how Riaz did. He answered 19 questions. He got uh, the rugby question wrong, so the answer is uh, is Wales, not Scotland. Uh, and he also got incorrect the Kavango region of Namibia, uh, of, of uh, is in Namibia and not Botswana. And I, I had this debate last night with my wife as I was practicing. The saxophone is in the woodwind instrument, even though it's brass, because it has a reed. Correct. It's in the woodwind. Correct. And so Rias has a grand total of 17, which, which means, means it's what? another oh. round of sudden death. We'll have Thursday's winner, Alison B uh, Beer, and Riaz Janudin, who was Friday's winner, going head-to-head -head after each getting 17 questions right. On to sudden death. You know how this works. When one of you gets it wrong, then the other one has to get it wrong, too, for it to us to go to a second round. You know how this works. Alison, we're going to go with you first. Which city was a former capital of Egypt? Aswan or Alexandria? Alexandria. That is correct. Riaz. Which city was a former capital of New Zealand? Auckland or Dunedin? Auckland. That is correct. We go to round two of sudden death as it gets a little harder. Alison. To which plant family does broccoli belong? Cabbage or asparagus? Cabbage. Correct. That was very confident. Uh, Riaz, to which plant family do almonds belong? Rose or bean? 
Rose? That wasn't a very confident answer, was it? Was that a guess? Good guess. You're through to the third round of sudden death. Alison, in science. This is where we go to higher grade. In science, what is the symbol for the ke uh, chemical element antimony? A-N. Bizarrely, it's S-B, which is vicious. Yes, in science. He has a medical background, doesn't he? He does. He wears his T-shirt like scrubs. You better get this one right, otherwise we'll never want to get sick anywhere near you. In science, what is the symbol for the chemi chemical element tungsten? Sorry, I didn't hear that. Just... In science, what is the symbol for the chemical element Tungsten. W. Pardon? W. How can W be the chemical? I think it's to do with the Latin name or the previous name of Tungsten. And there's no need to show off. You're a winner. <laughs> 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 what a wonderful, what a wonderful round of sudden death. We ask congratulations. Thank Alison, you. you're a superstar. Congratulations. Good well job. done, you guys. That was an Good. absolutely lovely round. Once again, congratulations to you, Riaz. You are the brain of the week and you've won yourself 10,000 rand thanks to Cape Talk and Discam, a winning mind in a healthy body. You will play again just after the news at noon, which are coming up shortly. And if you're still standing after that you will be crowned the brain of cape talk and win yourself a whopping twenty thousand rand join us just after the news if you want to hear the semi-finalists of this year battle it out again on the radio right here or you can stream us on facebook it is the discam brain of cape talk 2022 thanks to cape talk and discam a winning mind in a healthy body do keep on listening it is truly truly exciting um after the news we'll introduce you of course to the semi-final winner from weeks one through three who are going to battle it out with this week's winner that is Riaz Janadin from Plumstead. <laughs>